Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half are known to burrow. So I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? We wish to leave the creature enslaved. Now. Then let us free it. Cut the half goof and loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goof. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to... Uh, find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, 
As protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Carry on, my friend. Away with you already! Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. I'm glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy it gives in the middle. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. I haven't given up hope on you. Really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh... I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that you oh atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.